Now we're going to look at the motion of scapular depression. So we're looking on the anterior side. You can see our, our sternum here, um, our glenoid fossa, um, coracoid process, and our acromion process. And here's our scapula, or I'm sorry, our clavicle. So we're going to watch from the anterior part, you're going to just watch this little part of the scapula get depressed or lowered. And then we'll rotate to the posterior side um, to see the muscles on the posterior side that contribute to scapular depression. And so here we have the pectoralis minor on the anterior view. We can also see the serratus anterior um, that is going to also be a scapular depressor. So you can see there's depression of the scapula here and on the posterior view, you're gonna watch this lower, um, which with the serratus anterior, and you can see this nice large trapezius muscle, but for scapular depression, it is only the inferior portion of this muscle that is uh, attached to the medial border and part of the spine of the scapula that is depressing the scapula.